does things to people. It inspires, it delights, offers compassion, offers hope. More than £50 million was raised from the event last year as more than three quarters of entrants ran for charity. Fancy dress is a standout option, making a painful journey more uncomfortable. But thoughts of what their money can do in the future helps runners do more in the present. You may remember Professor Tom Solomon from Liverpool, who donned his white coat and stethoscope last year to raise money for the Encephalitis Society, helping its continuing research into the brain disease. I'm here at the University of Liverpool, the Institute of Infection and Global Health, and my research group, the Brain Infections Group, studies encephalitis. It's most often caused by a virus infection. The virus actually goes up into the brain instead and causes, a, a, if you like, it's like a cold sore on the brain with a lot of swelling and, and inflammation around it. And this ultimately causes brain damage, which leads to some of the problems that, that patients suffer down the line. It's one of these conditions which, um, if, if, if people, doctors, nurses, don't think of it early on and don't get treatment started quickly, then patients can, can have bad outcomes. Meet Darren. He was one of those that didn't receive treatment quickly enough and he still has an ongoing battle with the effects of encephalitis. It's been hard in many ways. Um, like I said there, some of my trouble, everyday trouble with short-term things, um, some of my long-term things from when I was very young, but mainly names, objects, um, trying to remember to say the right word and it making you sort of pause what you're saying, but just getting used to that really. That's, we, my neighbour's got one, so it's a dog. What about that? Um, it's like a mini rabbit and it's called a sparrow. No, it's a, it's a close, sparrow is close. So it's a squirrel. Darren's dad, Ray, saw firsthand how the disease affected his son. We firmly believe the hospital saved his life, but nobody told us what we were getting back. And while the shell was the same, the inside was completely different. He didn't know who his mum and I were, and he was allowed home for one day and couldn't wait to go back to hospital and very formally thanked his mum and I for allowing him to use our home. It was heartbreaking at the time, but as I say, with the help of the Encephalitis Society, we've all benefited from the information we've received via them. Tom raised £18,000 in all, crucial funds for fueling the research his hospital team are carrying out. Their findings will continue to help people like Cheryl, who had her symptoms recognised early and is the poster girl for encephalitis recovery. I would have probably been a lot worse if I'd not been treated quickly the way I had been. Because I did start to get double vision in hospital and I can't really remember anything, I was just knocked out all the time but they treated me really quickly and I was then eventually, I'm now back to full-time work and I'm fine now. So Cheryl has benefited from last year's race, thousands more besides, and many more still will join that list today. Charity and humanity in delicious synchronicity. Well, there's a happy man indeed, Jamie Balsh, former World Indoor 400 meter champion, running for Bernardo's, three hours, 51 and bits. It's been a bit of a struggle in the latter stages, but his target...